Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn two functions, pick and match. I am going to use this sample database. This data is available to download. Please look into the description section for link. I have loaded this data. I have also created order year, order month, order quarter and order month year fields from the order date field. I will reload this data. At the front end, I have created category and country filter and a table with category and sum of sales. Now first we will discuss about match function. What match function is exactly doing? We will see the syntax. So this is the syntax of match function. The match function will compare the first parameter here str. str is the first parameter. It will compare the first parameter with all following parameters and return the numeric location of the expression. Please note down that this comparison is case sensitive. We will try to implement this function in our current application. So I will try to implement this match function here. I will say I will write a measure and I will say match my category printer. So according to the definition of this match function, the match function will compare the first parameter. The first parameter here is category. It will compare category with all the following parameters. So right now apart from category we have only one parameter and that is a printer. So match function will compare category with printer and return the numeric location of printer. So right now you can see we are getting 1 for the printer and for rest of the stuff we are getting 0. If I will mention audio here, now it will compare two parameters printer and audio with category and it will give us the numeric location. So printer we have defined first even though alphabetically audio is coming first but printer we have defined first so it we will get one here for printer and two for audio. If I will mention tablet in between printer and audio so audio will now become three and tablet will now become two. Photography we haven't mentioned inside the match function parameter so we are getting zero for the photography. If I will mention here laptop which is not a part of my category I will not get any result. If instead of audio I will write lowercase audio then also I will not get anything I will get zero here. So this match function is case sensitive. Now we will talk about pick function. We will first see the syntax. Pick function will return the nth expression of the list. n is actually an integer between 1 to n. So I will try to implement pick here. I will say pick and I have to mention something like okay I will say 3 and here I will write audio category and printer. So I am getting printer. How? We have used 3 as a first parameter. So peak function will find out the third value from the parameters which are following the first parameter. So here three parameters following the first parameter audio category and printer. So third parameter is printer. If we mention here 2 then we will get category. If we will mention here 5 we will get null value because there is no fifth parameter here. So instead of this I can even write something like this. If it is number 1 then I want sum of sales. If it is number 2 then I want sum of cost and for the third one I want sum of profit. So for the one I will get sum of sales 
here we have mentioned sum of sales i will also mention sum of cost and sum of profit so you can see this one is sales then profit uh, sales cost and then profit so first one is matching now instead of this if i will say number 2 then i want sum of cost so this one we are getting here and for 3 we are getting sum of profit 15947 so this is how you can use peak and match function by combination of peak and match function we can create some customized report in clicksense in the next video i will show you how to create customized report in clicksense pivot table using peak and match function till then have a great day